everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be doing the Dragon Sheep Hybrid Challenge. If you aren't familiar with this challenge, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of what it is. Basically, you take every tribe from Wings of Fire and you give them a number 1 through 10. You then go to a random number generator and generate two random numbers. Those two numbers will correlate to two different dragon tribes, and with those two dragon tribes, you make a hybrid. For this video, I did three separate hybrids. All of these hybrids at the end of the video will be put up as free adaptables, so if you want any of these characters, just ask in the comments. Anyways, without making this intro any longer, let's get into the video. Alright, to start off this video, we randomly generated a 5 and a 4, which gives us a rain wing sea wing hybrid. As you're going to see in a moment, even though I did get a Rainwing Sea Wing hybrid, I went for more of a Sea Wing Rainwing hybrid, as it has more of a base as a Sea Wing and more of details as a Rainwing. When I was first doing the kind of sketch that I was going to go off of for this dragon, I wanted to keep the kind of slenderness that the rain wings have, but keep it shorter as sea wings have. Which I kind of got, but I feel like it still was mainly a sea wing body. As you're going to see a little bit later on in this section of the video, I did end up naming this guy Seagrass, which I thought would be good because it is a aquatic plant and you know rain wings usually name themselves after plants and sea wings usually name themselves after stuff that's in the ocean so i thought that would work and i don't have any specific reason for the color palette that i used i just kind of went with brighter because of rain wings but still blue and um greens and purples because of sea wing Because he is part Rainwing, I decided that he should have at least some parts of his scales that can change color. So even though I di didn't illustrate it here, I decided that his um, wings, like the inside of his wings can change color, as well as he can ch actually change the color um, that his like glowing parts of his body, like the color of them. And this is the final dragon. This is Seagrass, who is a male, and he is a, again, a Rainwing Sea Wing hybrid. He is more solitary, and he also likes to draw or write in his free time. For our next hybrid, we have an 8 and a 1, which means we have a Silkwing Mudwing hybrid. When I first started this drawing, I immediately spotted a small problem. Can you spot the difficulty between these two dragon tribes? Well, for me, I realized that how am I supposed to combine the slenderness of a silkwing with the thick build of a mudwing? Though it did take me a little while to figure out what I was going to do, I did eventually decide that I was going to try and do a medium build where I go kind of between the thickness of a mudwing and the skinniness of a silkwing. Because this is a silkwing mudwing hybrid, I decided to give this dragon two separate wings, though they are both silkwing wings. Because this is a silkwing and silkwings can be any color, and mud wings generally have some hint of orange to them if they're not entirely brown, I decided to go for a more orangey color palette for this dragon hybrid. This color palette did result in his name, which is Amber.
And here we have Amber. Amber is, again, a silk mud hybrid. He is a male. He is very extroverted. And he is very athletic. For our last hybrid of today, we got a 9 and a 6, which gives us a Hyphen Ice Wing hybrid. This was both my favorite and my least favorite hybrid to make today. The reason I loved it so much was because the aspect of having a hybrid in an ice wing. I had an idea of what I wanted it to look like, and I was really excited to draw it. I felt like the spikiness of an ice wing would match the prickly nature of a hive wing, though I completely disregarded that when I gave the attributes of this dragon. The reason I hated it so much, it took me four different tries to actually draw it. I am so upset that it took me so long to draw the base for this dragon. It wasn't even the actual liner, it was just the sketch underneath that took forever. When I first tried to draw it, it wasn't looking how I liked it, so I scrapped it. Second time I did it, it still didn't look how I wanted it to, so I scrapped it again. The next time, I actually got it working, but I accidentally closed out of my program and lost all of my progress. Finally, however, on the fourth attempt, which is the one that you're seeing on the screen now, I was able to finish the sketch, and I got something that I was really happy with. Overall, this dragon was definitely my favorite. I mean, that talent took forever, but it was totally worth it. And I also liked the, uh, the idea of giving it one high wing wing and one bed wing wing. I also just liked the entire position that I was able to create. So yeah, this is definitely my favorite. For the color palette on this dragon, I really had no idea what to go with. So I just kind of combined the two main colors of ice wings and high wings, just making yellow and blue, though it was mainly yellow. I also decided on the name Pepsis, which, if you don't know, is a type of wasp that lives in the desert. And since, you know, the Arctic is technically a desert, I thought it worked out well. And here we have Pepsis. Pepsis is a female, and like I said before, she is a high wing ice wing hybrid. She is very, very much extroverted, will literally run up to you and immediately start talking, and she's playful, so great friend. As I said before, all of these dragons are now up, to, up as adoptables for free, so if you want any of these dragons, just ask in the comments. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. On screen, you're probably seeing another one. If you want, you can check it out, but if not, honestly, I don't really care. I hope you have a good day, night, or evening. See you in the next video.